Hello and welcome to another edition of Technologic Talk. My name is H.J. Dunmore and I'm your host. It's been a while since we had a last episode of Technologic Talk, actually in 2010, but now in 2011 we've just had the Consumer Electronics Show, which is the show that introduces all the new technology and things of that sort that come out for the new year. And we also have NAB, which is coming up in April. So at this point right now, I'm feeling that it's really important to make sure we have a strong foundation. And a foundation meaning that we have a strong floor that we can stand on, in this case with our knowledge of video. So I've had emails, people have asked questions about 4.3, 16 by 9, HD, 720, 1080, what are these different things and what does it mean to you? So today our foundation is gonna be about video aspect ratios and resolution. Okay, in order to illustrate these things, let's think of a common example that just about everyone can relate to, a text document. And that would be something like a Microsoft Word or a text edit or something like that. Now basically what you do is you type in your words and your characters line by line, and when you reach the end of the line, the computer skips to the next space. Now I remember when I was in school, the teacher used to always stress that we should type double space, which was skipping a line in order to allow for corrections and whatnot. Now when we reach the end of that page, then the computer will advance to a new page where we will continue typing and inserting our words and our characters. Now keeping that example in mind, let's take a look at your average television. Now let's take a deeper look. Now these are pixels. They're individual vertical rectangles that contain color information based off the colors red, green, and blue. Now we'll discuss pixels and stuff like that in a later episode, but for right now, from left to right in each line, there are a number of pixels, which are similar to the characters and the letters that you're typing on your computer in that text document. The only exception is that there aren't any spaces on a television screen. Now back to our television. Now this is your standard definition monitor. The dimensions or size of the viewing area is referred to as 4.3. Now this lets us know that for every four inches of width, they're gonna be three inches of height and the result is a square type shape in your television screen. Now some of the other viewers of this episode may have a television that looks like this. This is a widescreen television, which is referred to as a 16 by nine monitor. Those televisions are widescreen to provide a viewing experience that is similar to what you would see on film in a theater. Now people that have high definition televisions or monitors have this type of viewing aspect ratio. Now depending on the television that you're viewing, your amount of lines may vary. Now let's look at your traditional television set. And the term for this would be standard definition. Now standard definition has the number of 720 pixels that go from left to right. Vertically, there are 480 horizontal rows. So that would be rows going from left to right, one, two, three, just as we were talking about inside of the text document. Now these rows are referred to as lines of resolution. Now how does this connect with our television set? When we watch television, we're watching still images that are played in succession. This is similar to a photographer that takes a still image. And there are still images that are being played one by one by one. This is similar to the stick figure animations that some may have created when they were children. Now the stick figure animation, I would actually draw a picture on one page and on another page, and then I would go ahead and flick the page, and they would play really fast. So this is similar to what happens in television. Now television displays 30 still images each second, which is really fast movement. This process happens so fast that our eyes can't even tell that they're still images. Now from this point on, we will refer to those still images as frames. Now the way each frame is displayed determines the difference between interlaced or progressive. Now interlaced and progressive, those are terms that are more commonly used when describing television resolutions, such as 1080i and 720p. To explain this best, we would need to revisit our original example. Now, a 720p monitor displays video in a way that is similar to a single space text document. It writes the image to the television screen line by line until it reaches the bottom of the screen. Now, when it reaches the bottom of the screen, the screen prepares for another scan and it starts the process all over again from top to bottom. So when you see 24p, 30p, 60p, these numbers refer to the total number of frames that are displayed per second. 60p will be 60 frames each second. Now, interlaced video is a little different. Let's say 1080i monitor. 
that will display video in a way that is similar to a double space text document. The monitor will display information in alternating rows, every other row being displayed on the screen. Now, let's give an example. Now, in this case, all of the rows, the even lines will display. So lines 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, all the way up to line 1080. So let's refer to this set of even lines as a field. So the even field will display first 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, so on and so forth. And then an odd line would show lines 1, 3, 5, and 7, all the way up to 1079 would display. Now we already learned that television displays video at 30 frames per second. So it makes sense that once the even field and then an the odd field is displayed, we have viewed a full frame. Now quick math lets us know that it would take 60 independent lines to create a frame because you have odd field, even field, which makes one frame. So it would take 60 of them. Now these lines are interlaced, meaning they're shown at a rate which is so quick that our eyes cannot see the alternating fields. So they're going back and forth so fast that the eyes can't tell, okay, we're on even or odd. They just see both of them mesh together. Now the question that always comes up is this, which is better, 1080i or 720p? Now, 1080i is gonna provide better resolution overall, but the 720p has a smoother look. Now, when purchasing a television, let me say this first. I would suggest that you purchase a 1080p monitor so you would have the best of both worlds and a better quality image. So your HD television can also be used as your computer monitor. You can connect your laptop or something of that sort to your HD screen and you'll have a really high quality screen, quality image as well. Now, this prepares you also for the future where you may be able to receive 1080p broadcast signals. Now, in the United States where we live, where I live, television currently broadcasts in 720p and 1080i. Now, if you have something like a direct TV or something like that, you can receive a 1080p signal. Or if you have an HD console like a PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360. So I can't really say that either is better, but I can give you two scenarios to illustrate how this can work. Let me introduce the term freeze frame. Now a freeze frame is a pause of a moving video, which is resulting in the view resting on one frame. So it's just like that example before of a still shot. Now let me say that one more time. Freeze frame. Now that's when we pause a moving video. The move video is moving and then we stop on one frame. Now in most cases that frame will look fine, but remember fast action, if I'm moving my hands really fast, that's fine, I can stop this way. But if it's moving so fast, you're not gonna be able to see it. It'll be like a blur. But in this case, the video will look like this. And that's not what we'd want. So when you have the option, you definitely wanna look at something progressive because a progressive image, remember, those lines are on the screen odd and even the entire time. They're just writing left to right and it's updating at a faster rate. And remember, 4, 3, 16 by 9. 16 by 9 is the similar one for HD television screens. It's referred to as widescreen. I'd like to thank you for joining me on this episode of Technologic Talk. Again, my name is H. Day Dunmore. If you have any questions regarding technology and regarding the theory behind technology, remember, I love technology and I love to talk and I love to talk to you. Now, if you'd like to email me, the email is info at technologictalk.com. Feel free to ask any questions or anything of that sort. And the URL is www.technologictalk.com. Until next time, keep your tech up, keep the talk up, and always take a look at us on Technologic Talk. Enjoy your day.